Ever wondered how the life of a common man could change the course of history? Today, we delve into the life of such a man, Christopher Columbus. Long before the birth of America, in the bustling port city of Genoa, Italy, a child was born into the humble family of a wool weaver. This child no one could have predicted would grow up to reshape the world as we know it. His name was Christopher Columbus, a name now synonymous with exploration and discovery. Genoa at the time of Columbus's birth was a hub of maritime trade, its streets filled with tales of distant lands and exotic treasures. It was in this vibrant environment that Columbus's fascination with the sea was kindled. As a young boy, he would spend hours at the docks watching the ships sail into the sunset, his mind filled with dreams of distant shores and uncharted territories. Columbus was not born into a life of privilege. His father was a humble wool weaver, and his mother, the daughter of a humble innkeeper. Yet it was in this simplicity that Columbus found his drive. He yearned for more than just the life of a craftsman. He was driven by a burning desire to explore, to discover, to push the boundaries of the known world. And so, with an insatiable curiosity and a relentless spirit, Columbus began his journey. He started as a ship's boy, learning the ropes of the trade, literally and figuratively. His natural aptitude for navigation and his keen sense of direction quickly propelled him up the ranks. But Columbus was not content with just being a sailor, he wanted to be an explorer. He wanted to chart his own course, to discover new lands, to write his own chapter in the annals of history. He dreamed of a westward route to Asia, a dream that was considered absurd by most but not by Columbus. He believed in his dream, and he believed in himself. Thus, a young boy from Genoa, driven by his passion, embarked on a journey that would forever alter our understanding of the world. Columbus's life took a turn when he moved to Portugal and married Filipa Perestrello. The allure of Portugal in the late 15th century was irresistible, a hub of maritime activity and exploration. Here, Columbus found not only a home, but a new purpose. In the bustling city of Lisbon, Columbus met Filipa, the daughter of a respected sea captain. Their marriage was more than a union of hearts, it was a fusion of minds. Philippa, having grown up with tales of the sea whispering in her ears, shared Columbus's curiosity and passion for exploration. Together, they welcomed a son, Diego, into their world, a world filled with dreams of undiscovered lands and maritime adventures. However, the tranquility of their domestic life was short-lived. Philippa's untimely death left Columbus a widower and a single father. But every cloud has a silver lining. For Columbus, the loss of his wife was a turning point pushing him further into the embrace of the sea. His first voyage into the Atlantic Ocean was an experience that cemented his resolve. He encountered fierce storms and beheld the vast, uncharted expanse of the ocean. He tasted the salty air, felt the relentless waves, and heard the call of the unknown. Here, in the heart of the Atlantic, Columbus's desire to explore was truly kindled. Despite the hardships, Columbus found a strange solace in the sea. The Atlantic, in its terrifying beauty, offered him a sense of purpose, a longing to delve deeper, to uncover the mysteries that lay beyond the horizon. It was as if the ocean itself was a siren, singing a song that only Columbus could hear, a song of discovery, of new lands waiting to be found. Fueled by a burning desire to discover new lands, Columbus embarked on a journey that would soon become a legend. The son of a weaver, a widower, a father, Christopher Columbus was about to step into the annals of history, leaving behind his life in Portugal, for a destiny that would forever change the course of human exploration. The year 1492 marked a significant chapter in Columbus's life and in the annals of exploration. A chapter that not only changed the course of Columbus's life, but also the trajectory of our world. Christopher Columbus, an ambitious explorer with a dream of reaching the East Indies by sailing west, embarked on his historic voyage in the August of 1492. The journey was far from a smooth sail. Columbus, leading a fleet of three ships, the Santa Maria, the Pinta, and the Nina, faced numerous challenges that tested their mettle and resolve. The voyage was fraught with uncertainty and danger. The vastness of the Atlantic Ocean was a formidable adversary. Storms raged and supplies dwindled, morale among the crew was at an all-time low. Mutiny whispers began to circulate, yet Columbus remained steadfast, his determination unyielding. His unwavering belief in his navigational skills and conviction in his mission carried them forward. After more than two months at sea, on October 12, a cry of land resonated through the ships. They had reached an island in the Bahamas archipelago, a land unknown to them, 
a world away from their intended destination. Little did they know, they had stumbled upon a new world, a landmass that would later be known as the Americas. Columbus's discovery was monumental, it opened up a whole new sphere of exploration, paving the way for further voyages to this new world. His discovery ignited a spark of curiosity and ambition among European nations, leading to an era of exploration and discovery. However, this discovery was not without its consequences. It marked the beginning of centuries of transatlantic conquest and colonization, forever altering the lives of the indigenous people of these lands. Columbus's discovery in 1492 not only expanded the horizons of European exploration, but also marked the beginning of centuries of transatlantic conquest and colonization. An expedition that began as a quest for a new route to the East Indies, inadvertently changed the course of human history. Columbus's voyages were not without controversy, his treatment of indigenous people remains a topic of heated debate even today. Following his initial voyage Columbus embarked on three more expeditions, he was driven by a relentless quest for glory and wealth, and a deep-seated belief in his divine mission to spread Christianity. Yet, it is this part of his story that invites controversy. On his second voyage, Columbus arrived as the governor of Hispaniola, an island in the Caribbean. Here his actions and policies sparked heated debate. He imposed harsh rules, enslaved the native Taino people and demanded tributes of gold. His brutal regime led to widespread suffering and death among the indigenous population. Columbus's governance was not just brutal, it was also inept. His focus on gold extraction and disregard for sustainable settlement led to economic instability and social unrest. His inability to manage the colony led to his eventual arrest and removal from power by the Spanish crown. Yet, despite his failures, Columbus remained unrepentant and firmly believed in his divine mandate. His treatment of indigenous people is perhaps the most controversial aspect of his legacy. Columbus's arrival marked the beginning of a brutal chapter in history. The indigenous people of the New World were subjected to violence, slavery, and diseases brought by the Europeans. This resulted in the decimation of their population and the destruction of their cultures. Yet it is important to remember that Columbus was a man of his time, operating within a framework of beliefs and values vastly different from ours. His actions, while inexcusable by our standards, were considered normal and even commendable by his contemporaries. Columbus's legacy remains a complex blend of discovery, conquest, and controversy. His voyages opened up the new world to European exploration and colonization, forever changing the course of human history. Yet, they also set the stage for centuries of exploitation and suffering for the indigenous people of the Americas. As we look back on Columbus we must grapple with this complex and challenging legacy. Columbus's later years were marked by personal trials and tribulations. As the curtain falls on the grand stage of his life, we find Columbus returning to Spain, no longer the revered explorer of yesteryears, but a man grappling with the harsh realities of his declining health and waning influence. After his final voyage in 1504, Columbus withdrew from the public eye, retreating into the quiet solitude of Valladolid, Spain. The years of rigorous travel and exploration had taken a heavy toll on his health. He was frequently bedridden and suffered from a myriad of ailments. Despite his failing health and the mounting challenges, his spirit remained unbroken. His dreams of exploration, the passion that fueled his journeys across the tumultuous seas, continued to burn brightly, even as his physical strength faded. In the spring of 1506, Columbus breathed his last. His final words, as reported by his son Ferdinand were, In manus tuas, domine, commendo spiritum meum, into your hands Lord, I commend my spirit. His death marked the end of an era, but the legacy he left behind was just beginning to unfold. Christopher Columbus, the man who dared to venture into the unknown, had forever changed the course of history. His voyages opened up new pathways, bridging the gap between the old world and the new. He ignited an age of exploration and discovery that led to a greater understanding of our world. Today, more than five centuries after his death, Columbus remains a figure of immense historical significance. His life, marked by courage, determination, and an unquenchable thirst for discovery, serves as an inspiration for many. His achievements have been celebrated, his missteps scrutinized, and his legacy hotly debated. Yet, despite the controversies, one fact remains indisputable. Christopher Columbus, a man of passion and persistence, left behind a legacy that continues to shape our world.
His life serves as a testament to the power of exploration and the pursuit of dreams.